Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene's.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 10, Editing DST and Other File Forms 3. People are always asking, what's the difference between convert to stitch or in stitches or in block or stitch to block? And it took me a long time to figure this one out, but I'm going to try to explain it to you as best I can. When you import most DST designs or most any design that you buy and you want to edit, it's going to come in stitches. What that means is if you want to edit it, you're going to have to edit it stitch by stitch. Let's get our select tool. Uh, we'll do the edit select point. And when we select this, it shows you where every stitch you have every stitch that that machine's going to put down. I'll get close up here. So you're going to be able to only edit these stitches one stitch at a time. But when something is a block, you can change whole blocks of stitches. You can edit them with uh, less individual stitch editing. So we're going to get this DST design and we are going to convert it to block. And we're going to use the default, OK. As we mentioned, it has the dotted blue line around it, so we have to ungroup it. I'm going to go to my Quick Access Group tool and ungroup it. And now, I want you to see what happens when I choose my edit tool this time. We're going to get real close. So we'll go to the edit tool, or the select point as they call it. And now when we select this, we're not seeing every single stitch highlighted. We're seeing blocks of stitches. So I can make this P get really long down here if I want. And it's going to move whole blocks of stitches as opposed to just one stitch at a time. 